Uh, this video has been released late. I'm, I am so sorry about that. Oh my God, no. Hey guys, Donnie here. Welcome back to another action figure review. And today we're reviewing the Fox. <laughs> And today, we're reviewing the God of Thunder, Thor Ortensen. But before we get into that, the painting and sculpture of this action figure is amazing. I really love the fact that they kind of mixed in some of his original suits and then threw galactic space travel powers along with it. It just looks amazing, honestly. If this is if this what Thor's look if this what Thor looks like as he becomes the the king of Asgard or New Asgard, whatever you call it, I can definitely say I love this. I mean, I do. I, I really do. I love the um, stripes. I love how they combine the rest of the action figure. I love the silver, the black, the blonde hair, the black crown, the prince. And then finally, we get to the cape. The cape is amazing. I didn't think they nailed this cape, but they did. And the coolest thing about it is that even though it has all this stuff, it doesn't limit articulation at all. I can't, I can't, I, normally capes, long capes and all that limit stuff. Like when I got Go the God Butcher, that thing was limited in articulation. I was afraid to use them, but this thing is different. This thing is different. This thing, how can I explain this? This thing is just, it's just, it's better. But I love the inside of the cape too, because they didn't cheap out. They were like, oh, they can't see the back of the cape. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. And I'm glad they saw that. Because in the back, the purple and red merging that is. You can't say anything bad about this figure, bro. It's sad, but it's true. You can't. For accessories, he comes with Two fisted hands, which is, you know, just the normal standard base hands. And then he comes with one open hand and one grab hand. He also comes with his hammer. Along with that, he also comes with crows. Now, I actually don't know why he has crows, but from what I remember from reading a weird, well, not reading, well, watching a weird YouTube video, it was talking about how Thor had to grab the knowledge of something like his father Odinson did. Now, remember when I told you Kang was like the best Marvel Legend figure for me because it didn't have the normal articulation on the arms, it just had the, one of those old joints so that I didn't have to worry about it breaking? Well, Thor has that too. But instead of doing what Kane did and placing this whole thing out of plastic and then just making this part movable, they made this part movable as well. So now it all moves, but the arm is the most protected. And I love it. Yo, they keep making action figures like this. I, I say no pins. No pins. Bruh, I don't want pins. I don't want pinless. I just want to do these joints. I know people are going to be mad at me, but I love when they did this. And I, it, I don't know, it just makes this action figure a lot cooler as they did this. The articulation on this guy is simply normal beside the arms. Now, you can't really move the head, sadly, but, you know, <laughs> Thor loves his hair. You cut his hair. Think of MCU when they cut his hair. He was so pissed off. But yeah, no, I, it was good. Articulation is good. Now for my final thought. So here's the thing, the original audio I actually recorded at my college because I was low on time, but you guys should just know that this action figure is amazing, it's perfect, if you want a Thor that just, just, just has this weird black force energy, then just get this guy, like, three stars all around, thank you guys for watching, like this video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!